What's up my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. What's up guys, happy new year. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I know I was supposed to come back in January and that was the plan, but I started another business venture that had, you know, monopolized my time, but I'm back now. And uh, I decided that well, first, before I even get into that, I hope all is well. I hope you're good. I hope your family is good. Um, happy New Year again. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I know. But I'm praying that all is well for everybody. If you're new to this video, what's up? This, my name is Shalinda One here on YouTube. Been here for a while. You know, what are you going to find here? A little bit of everything and whatever in the world I feel like talking about. It's pretty much what you're going to find here, but... Yeah, have a good time nonetheless. So, I decided, um, so during this time, especially once I came back and you guys knew what was going on with my business ventures and things like that, I was inundated. I was, there was an influx of questions. What's going on? How'd you do it? Can you mentor me? You know, what, all these different questions about business and success and how did you get to earning over six figures so quickly? Blah, 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 blah. So as I was answering these questions, I found myself saying the same thing over and over. And the truth, it all boiled down to three things. And I want to share those three things with you today. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay. Number one, and I even wrote them down just so I can make sure that I say it the right way. For me, my number one way, my number one thing that I changed in 2019, 2020 that helped catapult my success was I had to figure out my why. What was my why? You know, it goes, it's, it's not to, oh, well, I want to pay my bills and I want to be successful because you say it, but then what are your actions showing to support what you're saying? My why for me was the success for my children. Like I needed and I had to leave something to my kids. That wasn't even a question. I have to do this. There's no question. I'm not going to listen, Cletus. <laughs> this is what I have to do. So my why was bigger than me. And that's one of the ways that you will instantly change your life. I instantly changed my life when my why went from just, I'm just trying to survive and get through another day to, oh, hell no. Well, my whys, which were my children, which was my, my leaving success and my, my purpose on this planet, whatever your whys may be, but you have to have a list of whys. And if you have just one, that means that much, so be it. But you have to have a list of whys. I don't know any one that's successful that doesn't have a why. I don't care if your why is just, I like to make money. It's your why. And whatever your why is, it's very important. So I implore you, I beg you, I plead you, stop and think about what your whys are. And then when you think about your why, something hopefully will click in you to be like, okay, so I can't just have a why without an action. And then how hard am I going to go to make that action happen? And then is that that action has to become a part of your every day, your every moment, your every breath, your every, it just consumes you because that's what whys do when they really matter. Okay. The second thing I'm gonna make this video real quick, I promise. My number one is change of scenery. What made me so successful so quickly? My change of scenery. I had to check my friendships. I know it might not sound nice and it might not, you know, all that stuff, but can we talk? We family. <laughs> let's, let's talk. And I'm going to tell you a little story. I have a group of friends, well, you know, acquaintances that we would get on, you know, have a text chain and we'd just be texting and texting, you know, all pleasantries and all that good stuff. But one particular day, we were talking about cars. And we was talking about 
the cars that the three of them it was a group of four of us and the three of them had luxury cars <laughs> and they was talking about the interest rates and credit and all these different things and I literally had to call myself out and say Shonda you have nothing to add to this conversation you have no, no, you have nothing. You don't belong at, you don't have a seat at this table because you haven't earned it. You haven't done what you need to do to earn your seat at this table. And it clicked. It instantly clicked. Get, make sure that your surroundings and your friendships are leveled up. If they're not motivating you, what exactly is their purpose? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to go in your friendships of 20 years with someone because everybody, every friendship, in my opinion, should add something to your life. If there's a person who makes you laugh in bad times, that's, that's what they give to your life. That's what, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, if, you know, if there's someone who, who might be a know-it-all, but they actually have some good advice every once in a while. As long as they serve your life some type of way, keep them. But at the same time, let's be very clear. The few people that I roll with are all doing like big shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and then once they accomplish that one thing, they already have two and three other things in place. And I'm the same way. You know, it's, it's, it is so it is it is so important that your everyday motivations be those people that you speak to that you're surrounded by and it's not about being jealous or trying to compete it's not about competition at the end of the day it's about motivation and if those people are inspiring you i need to inspire my friends one of my best friends recently just told me how proud she was and how she was inspired by me. And it meant everything because I wasn't doing anything to be an inspiration. But once you realize you're an inspiration, hopefully that will keep you going and make you push more. And then when you let your light shine, you indirectly allow others to do the same. And that meant it, 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 it was, I put it on my son's wall. It is, it's, it is the most inspirational, when you let your light shine, you indirectly give permissions for others to do the same. It is, you know, it's, it's a, it's a instant, so, uh, which leads me directly into my third and probably most, it's the one that ties this all together. But for me, it was the one thing that once I realized everything that I was going through and putting my thoughts together, it is by far the single handed thing that changed my life. I'm gonna say it again. It's the single handed thing. And one of the most simplest things I've ever done that single handedly changed my life. I changed my mindset. My mindset is like I went to sleep one person and woke up a completely different person. The drive in me had just flipped. I had just changed my mindset. I decided I didn't want to be able, I didn't want, no longer want to go to stores and look at price tags. If I wanted, I wanted. I no longer wanted to survive another day. I want to make another day. I no longer wanted to figure out how to make a dollar stretch, but I needed to be figuring out how do I make a dollar every hour or how do I make a dollar every 10 seconds. That's where my mind frame changed. It wasn't about how I can save money. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's all about that savings, but it wasn't like, I remember Tom and me and my husband kind of joke about it not joke about it, but we kind of reflect on it now. Like you remember when we had $30 and we were trying to stretch that $30. Like it was man, like, okay, I can only put maybe $5 in gas because I need $10 to go get something to eat. And then, you know, I know that she has a runny nose. So I need like five, $6 to go get some Tylenol aspirin. Like you, that was my life. That was my life. Even sitting here on YouTube, that was my life. Not saying that money was instantly in my bank account, but I was damn sure gonna make sure it happened. 
That was the difference. I was no longer just settling for what life was giving me, but I was going to go out there and work my ass off to make it happen. Not only that, I realized that, you know, we all here, but you have to have multiple sources of income. No, 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 no. That's not a saying. That's a fact. You got to have multiple sources of income. I'm at five working on two more. Soon I'll be baking cookies and cutting grass or skyscraping or painting. I don't listen. Listen. If, if I didn't make money today, I had a bad day. And it's not about a, do a, a, a dollar amount. You know, if you make an extra $10, did, did you do some extra to make that $10? Keep multiplying that every day. That's where I am. Every day I have to be making some money. Every day I have to be doing something with my time that's going to earn money so that I can buy the house that I want, so that I can go and I can buy the fragrances that I want without looking at price tags, or I can help my son out whenever he needs it, or even if he doesn't, whatever it is. I knew I wanted to live a certain type of life and I was determined to do it. So I changed my mindset, which changed my life. I implemented a few tips that I'll give you in, a, in another video. If you like, leave it below if you would like to know those tips. And I made it happen. So there it is. Those are the three most important things that I did to change my life. And it worked because now I am well into the six figures and uh, trying to get it higher and higher and go. You know what I'm saying? My goal is hopefully within the next two, three years to hit that million uh, mark. Yes, that's where I'm at. That's, that's my mind frame. Why not? Why not me? Why not you? You know, sometimes we got to stop like putting ourselves down. Why not? Why not? Why? Tell me why. If I'm working hard, I'm grinding, I'm putting things in place. I'm trusting in God. My faith is as strong as it possibly can be. Why not? That's all I got to say. You answer that question. And when you answer that question, you'll be well on your way to changing your life. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe for more and more content coming your way. I love you. Be good. Stay a beautiful dreamer. Treat each other like you got some damn sense. Wear your mask. Stay safe. I love you and I'll see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye guys.